The life and times of the late Dr. Wilfred Koenange Karuga reads like a storybook with many twists and turns, one that he has penned in his autobiography that will soon be published. A life celebrated by many who gathered at the St. John's Anglican Church in Kiamba. Among those who gathered to pay tribute were Deputy Premier Uhuru Kenyatta, Attorney General Githu Mwegai, Royal Media Services Chairman Dr. S.K. Masharia, Vice Chair Gadoni Masharia and several ministers. The story of the grandson of a famous Kikuyu Senior Chief Koinange Wambiu and son of an equally famous chief, the late Charles Karuga Koinange, who grew up during the height of Mao Mao period, began 73 years ago. In 1939, the deceased was born in Kiamba, Kiambu County. And indeed, this loss is not just your loss, but it is a loss to us all. Dr. Koinange will always be remembered as a diligent, hard-working, committed civil servant. But more than that, he was a loyal man to his employer. Dr. Koinange served the nation in various high-level capacities in both the public service and private sector with distinction. He left an indelible mark of professionalism and high standards of performance that has inspired many people. The passing on of Dr. Koinange has robbed the nation of a man who served the country with dedication in various capacities. In his career as a doctor, his greatest achievement was no doubt being the only African out of 14 physicians in the world helping in the eradication of smallpox. Though a medical doctor, the late Kainange proceeded in 1987 to the Ministry of Research, Science and Technology as a permanent secretary. He also served in the ministries of Health, Industry, Agriculture and Finance. <laughs> From St. John A.C.K. Church, his body proceeded to his home in Kiamba. Emotions ran high as the body of a man described as a man of full wit and humor was finally laid to rest.